All right, guys, check this out. I got some genuine parts from Cascade, and they are, what are they? Freaking BFS spools. Look at that, Royal Legend 2, and also it fits the GT, and the Spartacus 2. So in this video, I'll be unboxing these guys, but I just wanna let you guys know where I purchased this at. I got it from AliExpress, and um, after I purchased it, finally, they actually decided to bundle these together with the reels too. So if you go on AliExpress, you actually can check out the, the reels, like Spartacus 2 and the Royal Legend 2 slash GT. You guys have options to buy the standard reel with the standard size spool plus these, or if you guys have already purchased the uh, reels and you just want the BFS spools, you guys could buy the spools separately. And once again, it's just on AliExpress, not on Amazon yet. I don't think um, casting is gonna go full blown uh, BFS mode in the US yet because obviously they haven't brought the BFS rods over. So yeah, if you guys wanna test this out, you, you guys feel free to check out the links in the description below, non-affiliate. And by the way, guys, I'm no longer affiliate with Casking, but still, I really like what Casking is doing. Uh, they're doing a lot of great stuff for the BFS community, as well as, I guess, the fishing community in general, because they, this year, has started uh, ramping up their Mad Bite, which is uh, uh, the sister brand of Casking, and they have a lot of fishing lures that they're bringing over to, uh, I guess, the world and they have a lot of them on Amazon. But anyway, enough about that. We are focused on these BFS spools. So th this is what I will do. All right, I'll unbox these so you guys can see how they are. And uh, I'll weigh them, got my scale, all right. I also got my pin puller from SDS because I do want to pull the pin, take out the stock bearing and weigh it so you guys get the true weighting. And uh, yeah, in the future, I will be doing cast testing with these spools and the reels, all right. Anyway, let's get going. So let's start with the Spartacus 2 because I do have Spartacus, Spartacus 2 already. So all I have to do is shove this baddie in and do some fishing. Look at that. It looks pretty cool. All right, so it's pretty much standard as some of the other spools you have. Like I have this uh, Kawa, which is a Chinese, well, I guess it's Hong Kong because it says HK. This one's for the Daiwa uh, CC80, but um, Yep, I have it on the side, just in case I ever get that reel, because that reel is pretty popular lately. All right, and then let's take a look at this guy here. All right, this is, oh, this one actually says Roll Legend on it. Unlike the other one, it does not say it. And you guys will also notice that the porting is a little bit different, but the color schemes, everything is pretty much the same. You also notice that the shafts are different, so they won't fit on the same reel. And I am put them, putting them together right now. Looks like the spool size are different as well. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. So you definitely can't interchange these spools for these two reels, all right? They both come with just regular bearings, stainless steel bearings that is, which uh, we probably want to put micro bearings in, but for sake of cast testing, Jimbo will be using the stock bearings, but I'll take it at, out right now just to weigh the spools. Uh, hold up before we go any further. The box doesn't really say anything. Got some social media stuff on there. Uh, what's behind here? And the serial numbers, nothing special, but I do like the box because I want to show you this guy. I'm bringing this back a second time for a reason, okay? Kawa, you see how they package this? The spool in a plastic bag. It came in a box. So this thing came in a cardboard box taped up and when it's being shipped over, it could get destroyed, all right? These guys here have their own individual boxes before it got put into a box. So I feel like this will protect the spool from being bent. So I like that. But let's weigh these spools, shall we? All right, so this zeroed out grams. The first one is the Spartacus 2, 10.3. Let's lift it up and 10.1. These sheep scales are not too accurate. I wish uh, I had stuff like Paul. He got uh, external weights for him to calibrate, which is pretty cool. Anyways, so 10.4, 9.4. Whoa, this one's a lot lighter. 9.4, all right, let's put this back in one more time. Yeah, okay, so looks like I'll be probably interested in the GT reel, which I haven't purchased yet. But yeah, okay, I can see why. Okay, you can see that this side part of the Spartacus is a little bit thicker. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, but this spool right here looks like it's 
rounder. Uh, they both on the website say they're same weight, same line capacity, same size, 32 millimeter, but I don't think that is the case. But anyway, let me pull up my phone very quick so I can read off uh, stuff because, you know, Jimbo can't remember all the metric stuff. Jimbo sucks at that, but let's take a quick look. Yep, so they both uh, 32 millimeters, so I, I don't think that's the case. It says on the website that they're both 9.6 gram, which as you saw, it was not the case. Line capacity is 0.16 millimeters, will give you 70 meters, and if it's 0.205, will give you 60 meters. Um, that's very interesting interesting specs but that's what they are why don't we now take off the pins and get the true weight yep got it through now it's swap to the other side you always want to use this side first okay before you use the thinner side because you may be doing it on the wrong side and you might bend your pin your pin okay then you need to align this here all right got it all right, so it sparkles without the pin in the bearing, and that weighs 8.6. All right, lift it up. Let's make a stand like that. 8.6, that is pretty cool. All right, let me put this on the side. In fact, let me put everything into the box in case you don't want to lose anything. And let's do this one. All right, so I got the bearing removed. Let's weigh this sucker, 8.3. Eight point three, very nice. So this guy is lighter than this guy here. Um, let me take a look at the bearings too. I just want to, uh, if they're the same bearing, let's take a look. Oh, so they're not the same bearing. You can see that the Spartacus used a bigger one. That's very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Dang, the Spartacus bearing is one point five grams. How about this guy? One point. Wait, the smaller guys? Wait, it's just one gram. One gram. 1.6 gram, so wow. The bearing on Spartacus is definitely heavier, but it doesn't matter anyway because I'll be using these stock bearings for the cast testing video first. And if I like those reels and if I see potentials in those reels, then I will upgrade them to something else different. Micro bearings, of course, when we go BFS fishing, we gotta use some micro bearings. But so far out of the box, right? Here's what I think about these spools here. The spools are not too bad, it's not, that heavy, I think it's pretty much closer to the industry standards for those bass BFS reels like Shimano, their Corrado. It's pretty much close up there. But the question is, how will it perform? Um, these use regular magnetic, magnetic braking system instead of uh, the FTP braking system from Shimano. So I am very, very curious, especially with the, the Royal Legend 2 or in the Royal Legend GT and the Spartacus 2. They are definitely a lot cheaper than any of the Shimano's reels. So yeah, I'm quite excited. Which one do you guys want to see first for a cast testing video? Would you guys want to see the Royal Legend 2 slash GT or would you guys want to see the Spartacus? Leave me a comment below. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the unboxing video. I don't want to spend too much time here because I want to be spending time doing cast testing and fishing. So yeah, once again, let me know which one you guys want to see first. The fish don't wait. So guys, you guys want to play around with some BFS stuff? Check out Cast King. They're going to have some more cool stuff in the future.